I greet you with peace and I greet you with love. Today is a special day, like all every other day anyway, but today is special. Yes. <laughs> mm. And the soul food for today is what is marine spirits? <laughs> what is marine spirits? You see, one of the problems we are having today is the people we allowed to educate us we are people who envy us we are people who don't really like us <laughs> these were people who hates what we are if you allow your oppressor <laughs> share this video <laughs> if you allow your oppressor to not be the one educating you then you are a big problem because it is your duty of your oppress oppressor to hide knowledge from you because for as long as he is in charge of the knowledge then you will always be his own slave. So what is going on in the conscious self of Africa today is we accepted doctrines which is so alien to our nature. We accepted teachings which, <laughs> which have nothing to do with our authentic nature. And that's why we are paying the price of our ignorance today. The wise ones are already connected. But many still need to wake up. So today is a fast soul food anyway. Today, let's talk about marine spirits. Because what many of you know about marine spirits was what normally would that destructive machine used to destroy your men, your brains was what not only would teach many of you and they show for drama what many of you know about marine spirits was what your pastor teach you in his church stand for altar <laughs> the talk <laughs> you as an individual many of you have never really been introduced to what this really is then some of you who carry these spirits you just know you are different you just know sometimes you are in the water sometimes your whole house is like a river <laughs> sometimes you, a snake come out from nowhere sometimes you are like a fish inside your own bed you are like, hey, why well, am I becoming a fish? Some of you are scared when that happened to you. <laughs> Sometimes you just wake up, your bed is wet, as if somebody pour a full bucket of water on you. Sometimes you see yourself in different, different places. And when sometimes you speak out, especially to the wrong person, they tell you, oh, oh, we have to deliver you now. This is a marine spirit. We need to deliver you now. We need to save you from this now. And what are they doing? Sometimes they take you to some devious. Sometimes they take you to some babalawos, some mohen. And why most of the time they take you to the pastors or prophets, as they always claim. Prophet is just organized Babala who, who is packaging himself. Nothing different from that. So, so that you can understand what you're dealing with. So any people tell you I'm a prophet, know that this is Babala who don't want to accept that he is Babala who then he now 
carve it <laughs> to sell his package. No problem. Those are their own personal business. But whenever they introduce you to these people, there's always sometimes some babalawa also fall in the same mainstream narrative. Yes, some babalawa always fall in the same mainstream narrative. But there are two different types of babalawas. There are the ones who know what I'm sharing with you now. Then there are these ones who also see it from a different way. They just follow me. So when you share this information, this feeling, this sensation, sometimes you don't even share. You just have some, you are sick or some strange behavior. And then the, maybe your family take you to this pastor who will say, ah, she have water spirit or she have water spirit, we have to make deliverance. But what you have to know is nobody can deliver you from a marine spirit. They will not tell you the secrets. No matter how powerful that prophet is, no matter how powerful that babalawo is, you cannot be delivered from marine spirits. So if you are wise, start listing it very closely now. <laughs> what that native daughter is doing, some of them, not all, or that pastor, prophet is doing, if they have strong powers they work with, energies they work with, they can only cut the cord that connects you with the marine world but that does not mean they change anything which means in another word they are only disconnecting you from your own self and make you become lost in this world but don't worry i'm going to slow it down pieces it the way you will understand it's so simple what you have to know is this when we talk about marine spirits, first you need to understand the concepts or the meaning people are talking about whenever they say the word spirit. As I don't use the word spirit, I always use the word energy. Let's follow the word spirits. So when they say spirits, what are they really referring to? Spirit don't have flesh. Spirit don't have attachments or solid matters. Spirit is like an entity that exists in the astral plane, which you can call spirit world. And what is this spirit world now? <laughs> this spirit world is the same world that you are living. But as long as you carry this load, which you call body, then you cannot be fully, you cannot fully enter into that realm. So it's like something covering something, but at the same time, it is together. That's why your eyes don't see more than 30%. Which means 70% of things going on around you. You don't see it with your naked eyes. Same reason why 70% of the earth is covered by water. But don't worry, we'll get there. So, in this astral realm now, which they tell you is spirit, what? This entity known as her spirits is existing. But the word is coexisting with this word. So when you now hear the word marine spirits, it means they are trying to make you understand a, 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 an astral realm from the marine world, from the ocean world. Okay. Here on earth, we have astral realm, spirit world. Then in the ocean, because yes, matter materials solid same in the ocean if you throw a rock in the ocean it goes down meaning matter solid is also there so because there is a realm here and inside the ocean there also now exists a realm 
but it is deeper than just a rhyme when it gets to the ocean. But no problem, let's follow where the light can reach. Don't forget the light don't reach the bottom of the ocean. Stuck down there. <laughs> but listen. So when they're telling you now marine spirits, now that you know the spirit means this entity that exists in the astral plane that is not being exposed to these naked eyes, then carry it now to the marine world. They are telling you the same thing now, but from the marine perspective. Let me try and brighten my phone a little. Because it's getting dark here. So, that spirit in the marine world now, how does it happen? How does it even come about? How does it now get to do with you who is now on this flesh? Before you know that, then you have to know something which they don't teach you in school, of course. Which your religion don't teach you, of course. Because don't forget, religion fits out it and try to make you put you in the box and control how you think because they are scared that if you assess everything that comes with you they can't control you anymore that's why they're telling you to be afraid of the spiritual world so you can follow their program now listen before you understand the marine world you have to know something about the universe the cosmic ocean this thing you call life. How stars were born, how moon were created, how suns and everything was created. But I cannot really take you through the history of the universe itself. But where I want to start from is from this our solar system, which is in this edge of this Milky Way that we are now. Before this earth was born, hmm. <laughs> Before this earth was born, she has a sister. And inside a sister, because don't forget the earth is a living organism, so you are like just one of the organisms living inside of this conscious being. So this is our great mother. That's what you are, nothing. Just your ego making you think you're something so special. But you're just nothing. You're just a living organism within her. But listen, this earth had a sister. And the sister of this earth, before this earth was born, great, great beings was existing within her. But the time comes where everything needed to be redefined. Where what you call now moon separated herself. Some call it rebirth. There are different theories. But I will not follow the melt or the theories. Just follow the energy that I'm giving to you now. Before the moon left this earth, because don't forget the moon came out of what you know as earth now. The sister of this earth was the place where all these great beings were living. When I say great beings, I'm talking about super beings which there is no words to describe ancient beings so when she pulled out from this earth she left like a deep hole on this earth and this deep hole she left on this earth down there was full of darkness and that darkness was full of this water. Inside that water was full of the remains of these super intelligent creatures, humans. Humans is a low word to describe them. That's why I don't like the word humans. Humans already, the word humans makes you small automatically because you are not a human being. But no problem, follow me so we can make sense. If not, you will take a good up and not wrong, man. <laughs> but I know what I'm sharing with you. So, these super beings, great creatures, who was living now, they were all now inside this ocean. But just being inside the ocean was not enough. 
because it's like the world you know ended and the water covers everything but because of their incredible intelligence hmm, because of their great divine intelligence they split it some remains inside the water some remain under what you know as earth now there are beings there and those ones hmm, okay <laughs> those ones that remain under that water did not become the one in charge of this place you call it as they control this place then they were in a constant relationship with those that live now under you can call it under world under earth in a world in a earth any language you use to understand it they're not built like a relationship with them we are the same super intelligent great beings these people are people you call gods and prophets and artists today. Let's create something. Let's make a man. <laughs> Let us, me and you, make a man. And the idea and the concept of a man was not to have a man. The idea and the concept of a man was to have something that they can use to penetrate the surface of what you know now as X. Which means that you that your mother gave birth to, that small baby, that meets where you cry, eh, eh, that small human being where your mother gave birth to, that is not you. But that is now the envelope, the jacket, the box, the body, which you choose to use in this act. So when you are now, yeah, your energy, your source, which empower that, you can call it like a machine, which use your body. The energy that give force to it. The energy that gives force, which you call life, to it, is not coming from that body. It's coming from a source that you are tapping into. But I'm going to try and slow it down so it's not going to be too complicated. What I'm trying to share with you now is, in a simple word, there is a world 100 times bigger than what you call world now on this earth this is just little little island you call it you must call it continents or these are small 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 stones just like a rock they are nothing on that one hour tsunami can just swallow your earth the earth is just but the ego of man makes you think you you are the most intelligent being those are just your egos <laughs> a bird that is flying is more intelligent than you but you will not accept that <laughs> no problem listening so in this ocean now in this body now these great beings work together with others in the whole earth or the inner world and they make man in flesh and the duty of the man in flesh was to help them coordinate this surface and balance it so that those things that happened before will not happen we'll get there but let's just continue the story so now this world you are living is a reflection of a bigger world that is existing meaning you as a man your sass is from somewhere it doesn't mean all of you are from ocean everybody is not from ocean but now I'm just speaking with marine spirit. That's what we are dealing on now. If not, it will be too long to explain everything. <laughs> so let's just focus on one square there. So, that world in that ocean which have manifested into flesh now. Whenever you are here on earth as a, a person with a marine spirit, your real self from the ocean sent you here for a purpose mm. 
There is always a purpose. There is always a purpose. <laughs> and one of the purpose is to be conscious of our own self again. To know this is me. I'm in flesh again. Why? Because of your ancient nature that are, you have been existing now in that ocean. It gave birth to curiosity. Although not everybody was curious. It gave birth to curiosity. So many of you are here on earth based on curiosity. Many of you are here on earth based on somebody who was looking for a child and he go and plead to, to have a child. Many of you are here on earth based on your role to play to save others that have lost on this earth. Many of you are here on earth to set the wrong rights. But many of you are so here to destroy. Everything goes together. <laughs> you have to define why you are here anyway. But what I'm sharing with you is, you are not one now. There is this you in the ocean with a family. Sometimes a kingdom depends on you because the ocean, we all still have different, different water we bath inside this ocean. We all still have different, different kingdoms we come from. We all still have different, different roles we play. But majority, like 85% of you that are coming, either you are a queen, because before you get permission to just come, it's not a shy play. <laughs> so either you are a queen, or you are a king, or you are a princess, or you are a prince, or you are just like a, a, a defender. There are different, different roles. So, but you come now on X, you are now in flesh. That other realm right there, that other world right there under that ocean is still what governs you right here. But sometimes, because you are not born into doctrines that are yet to miseducate you, to lose yourself, your family in ocean, eh? <laughs> will not start visiting you. Because why? For them, you have never left. Why is it so? You are with them. The real you. So the, the you that you think is here on earth that is feeling all these pains, all this load, all these things. The, that you <laughs> is just a little pieces and fragments of what you are. That's why no matter no, the problem you are, don't kill yourself. In fact, that problem is not even your problem. There no problem. Oh, this is beautiful. So that you right there who is going through all this emotional breakdown, different, different attack, different, different problems which I cannot list. Some will even be buried, some will have different, different problems. That's you right there, when you are not balanced here on the surface of the earth, then it means there is something wrong down there. Then it means there is something down there which is not any more connected to your purpose up here. But what you have to know is we have different, different marine spirits. This is very important to know. You don't just say you are marine, you are marine, you are marine, everybody is marine. No. There are different, different marine spirits. Some come here to manipulate and make you confused. Because sometimes it's like a challenge under the ocean. Ah, go and look at you. Don't worry. I will go there to this earth also. You will see. I will make you do this and you will do it. We we'll say, no, me. Go and try and see. Before you know, that woman will already give you problem. <laughs> this is a karmic relationship. Those people who are just treating you like that. All this, everything is connected. But the point I want to share here with you is this. I don't want to wide the topic so much. When you hear of marine spirits, when people tell you you are a marine or you carry marine spirits, don't be scared. Because what they are trying to tell you is yourself, your real self, 
It's in the ocean. It's in a kingdom somewhere in the ocean. With your fear, you might say, no, God forbid, Peter, I don't want to be the... Those ones are just your fear. It does not change the reality because you don't know anything. So it's normal. You are just in the society. They have trapped you in their matrix and they have bombard your brains with lies and torturing. So now you don't know who you are. But this is the news for you. The news now for you is instead of you to cage yourself in that fear of, of the unknown. Because that's what many of you are scared of. You don't know what's beyond there. Some of you are scared to die. Also. <laughs> so instead of you to be scared now of that unknown, welcome them. Accept them. Because they are not something different from you. They are part of you. So when your pastor is telling you, I want to deliver you from the spirit of marine, what he's telling you is, I want to destroy and detach you from your real family. What is telling you is, I want to break you and can disconnect you from your children. What is really telling you is, I want to pull you away from your throne and make you slave on this planet X. And that's why you have pains. That's why you have problems. Because you still struggle with what you have. Fear would still not allow you to accept you. And because of your fear, they don't expose so many things to you. And that ignorance of that self now will not create internal inflammation that makes you confused. Sometimes you will not fall sick even. What everybody do good, your own will just be difficult. Because you are still fighting. You have become a rebel that is rebelling our own self. You are trying to run from our own self. And this is all you have. So sometimes, sometimes, this is what happens sometimes. When you come to life before and you are, we are detached from them, and let's say something happened to you now, you don't die, but let me use the word you will understand. Then you die. And then, instead of you finding your way back home, you rush and reincarnate again into another life again without even settling the scores. <laughs> the first one. So then, your family now will now start being angry with you. And then they start to protest. And one of the ways for them to protest against you Imagine this big family house where people, everybody have a rules, code of conduct of the home. But you are always like the black sheep. You always rebel and bring problems to the home. Everybody will start getting hungry with you. That's exactly. So when they start protesting against your ignorance mm, and the detachment of yourself, mm -mm, then you on this surface of the earth, problem with long. Your problem will long. That's where there was not start carrying you from different place to different place. Sometimes it doesn't mean you will seek, but life will be excusing you. Life will excuse you. Because they want to let you know now that you are not you. Sometimes you know who is doing it. Let me break the news to you. <laughs> it is your own real self under the ocean who is so disappointed of you, who is not happy with you now, who, who is so, who feel betrayed and, and abandoned, who feel like, mm, what is she to even think she is? You are nothing but me. I am that you. In fact, you, <laughs> you're still pretty because of me. Just do what you are there for and stop fooling yourself around. But you don't hear her. You are so disconnected. You are so brainwashed. You are not trapped in the mattress. So while they feel pity for you, sometimes they want to torture you. Sometimes they want to discipline you. Sometimes they want to drug you. Until then, finally, you see that you now know yourself. 
or you will not fall so deep into sickness and one day you will not die. From the moment you die now, you go back home. But what is happening there? Why is it a big risk? Sometimes, because of the things you pledge down there in the ocean, that makes you take the permission and say, I'm going to the surface. Because of this ignorant self now in this surface, you will not pay a huge price down there in the ocean. Because you made a pledge. You made a pledge. So it is very, very wise. Even if somebody tell you you are a marine spirit, they call it different name. Man, J, Mami Water, this different, different name. I don't Mami Water is a, let, let's just follow it like this. Because Mami Water now is that your ocean self that is existing inside the ocean. That's your Mami Water. We all have Mami Water. Like me now, I have two Mami Water. We, <laughs> we all have our Mami Water. Especially when you are from the ocean. So, when you are connected to them, then you will play your part here and you will also get your reward. But what is the problem of many people with marine spirit is you allow yourself to be stuck in these mantras and you define life by these things you see here around here. Meanwhile, the reality is deeper. You cannot compare a life that cannot be more than 200 years to a life that is already millions of years old. Don't forget, the ocean is the oldest thing on this planet. The ocean carries the memories of the universe. The ocean is unknown. When you are from there, your only solution, your only hope is acceptance. The moment you accept now yourself, there will jubilate. <laughs> there will be big festival for you. Because from that moment now, the link now becomes so clear. And then you can work together now with your own higher self and to achieve your own higher goal. Sometimes some will say, but these people, they, they make life at me. Because the things you call life, it's nothing to them. That's not life to them. Your vision might be, oh, I need big money. I need big estates. They know that you have wet beyond all those things you are thinking of already. But because your knowledge is low and you don't know you are limited in this time and space where you are trapped, you think that is all. Normally they can give you all that because uh, <laughs> they are the owner of wet. That you must first accept yourself, mm. accept them before you can be in peace in one with them. Then for those of you that say, ah, oh, this man always come and make love to me, or oh, this one always come, don't complain and fight everything. When that man come, if you build yourself to the point where you are supposed to build yourself to, then you can sit him down and have a conversation with them. When those your spirit friends come, instead of you misbehaving, because sometimes they are just standing looking at you, because of the energy, the vibration, and you don't have the knowledge, it makes you misbehave. It creates way for you. Some will even run mad. Because energy pass energy. Some will even run mad. So when that connection is not there, there's always a dangling and struggle. But when you can build that connection with them, then you can balance it. And this is exactly what your ancestors knew. Your ancestors now understand this energy to the point that they now know how to balance it through rituals, initiations, and sacrifice to balance this energy because everything is energy. <laughs> so when they balance it now, you now become in harmony with your earthly self, that's your body, and that's your spirit, uh, what has spirit, now becomes one. And that's where you can now really have peace and joy of this life. But some will say, Oh, but I've done all those initiations and everything. I still have the same problem. 
Yes, it's still not enough. Because what many of you do is, I have money. You pay the priest money. They do all the riches and everything for you. You just expect, it's like you, you go and pay people and settle people. You don't know this is your journey. How many times have you spoken to them? How many times have you consulted them? How many times have you spent time with them? Don't feel so frustrated once. You see three, four times and you try to meditate with them and you don't see them because of that. You are like, mm, you lose interest. No. Take time to build your intimacy with them if you have done the necessary initiations and everything. Take time to build that intimacy with them because the damage that has been done to you right from childhood, the bombardment, that's why if you are wise and you know all these things now already, as you have a child, you know the spirit the child have, fix all these things. If not, they will also suffer like you, one way or another. Because you are already what you are. This is what you have to understand. Because when I counsel so many people, they are always like, oh, but I don't need this thing. I'm not interested. Oh, I just want my normal life. Job. You don't have normal life. <laughs> you don't have normal life. Because you are not a normal human being. That concept, normal human being was a scam to just make you a machine. It's nothing like normal human being. You see that you are mankind or you are a man. You see that you are alive or you are dead. There is nothing like a normal human being. You see that you have a soul or you don't have. But now they, more and more they want to disconnect you from your soul. So the point here before I round it up, like I said, is a very fast one. I don't want it to be too long. The point here is start building it messy now. With that, your marine spirits. Normally, I could go deeper, but I can only share what I'm permitted to. I don't want them to block my memories. Because <laughs> when you share things that don't permit you, they'll block your memories. Then you can't remember things you see or things you do anymore. Then you are limited. That's why many of you don't remember your dream. Because you talk too much. You talk too much. You will just dream you tell this one, you tell this one, you tell this one. No. These things have to be guided. There are informations. You have to just have maybe like one or two person you know these are people who are spiritually oriented and share it with them. Because some information is for you alone. It's like a whisper. But when you, I whisper to you and you come out in the market square and start singing, tomorrow I will not whisper to you anymore. That's why they will be looking at you. You will not even know they are there. Before you know, they will not start using you. Yes, they can use you. You know why? They can use you. That your body was who is now on earth who was supposed to play that role is lost now. So now any of them down there in the ocean, we just see you now as a shiner to use and manipulate things here on this earth. So now you are not in charge of yourself again. You are lost now. Any of them can just use you now. Now you are a big problem now. Yes, that's the problem you have, many of you have. You have lost yourself. You have lost yourself. So if you love yourself, it is simple. Start paying attention to what you have and following really what you have. Accept what you have. Don't know you are a marine spirit and you are still in church singing choir for me, choir mistress. Singer. You are fooling yourself. Don't know you are a marine spirit. When you still think, ah, ah, I have to hide it, I don't have to show it, people will know it because you are scared, people will know now they will be scared of you. <laughs> you these people don't even know anything, you don't see anything, you are scared of them, you are, you are worried about what they will think. People are not even alive, you are <laughs> worried about what they will think. So you are just damaging yourself. So if you love yourself and you know already, or you feel it already, they tap into it. There's no fear. There's no fear. The fear is the problem. And fear is also a key. So whenever you feel fear towards things like this, know that ah, there is really something here I need to know. Because fear is that of unknown. What you don't know, that is why fear comes. So let the fear know, you know what? Don't worry, I'm okay, I'm good to go. And the fear will disappear. The moment the fear disappears, wow, 
everybody become happy with you because then they can come to you they will guide you they will show you things just like some some women now when you are dating a wrong man before you hang out with the man the first day the first date they will come and tell you and say don't go to this person before you even uh, uh spend time with uh maybe you want to do a business they will tell you mm, don't do this business waste they will have strong connection with you you will not become your own oracle and all you need is just a glass of water to consult them and they answer you so f the network fast <laughs> the network too fast because you are them when you breathe they know how many breaths you take each day they know because they can stop that breath they can stop that breath your children you need to know what they are also because lions don't give birth to sheep <laughs> so everything especially for the women everything about you now becomes so sacred your only hope is to accept them sometimes accepting them is all about self-exploration Wake up same time every day for 21 days and consult them. And you will see what I'm telling you. <laughs> That's just like a tips for you anyway. But accept who you are. Even if you don't know so deep that thing you are. And, but you can sense it. Your intuition, your instinct. Something is moving and trying to let you know. Don't fight it calm down take deep breath and welcome it that moment right there you will open the doors that's where you will know if this is really for me or not your pastors will lie to you and tell you the spirit of water have come to possess you that is a lie no. <laughs> they did not come to possess you you had that already you are that already nobody no entity no god no spirit can ever possess your vessel if you have not lost yourself so when your pastor tell you they are possessing you know that you are lost and no first is the pastor know what he's even saying because many of them just say it to put fear on you so you can be on track <laughs> so you can be on track does it really mean they know what you are saying so marine spirits is the most powerful energy of this earth because the water rules everything in this part of the universe wherever you see water you see purity you see strength you see love you see infinite knowledge you see infinite memory you see something that don't end so that's why water becomes life And that out of that water was where you were created out of a sacred art of masturbation. Go and listen to my teaching. The sacred feminine energy. The origin of the sacred feminine energy. So you can know the history of creation your religion don't tell you about. <laughs> religion don't tell you those things. Because what your religion did was extract stories from ancient documents and refaction it and present it to you as a holy book so that they will disconnect you from ancient knowledge and put you in these new messianic doctrines it's nothing but a messianic doctrine that's just all it is but if you don't know you will think it's the word of god so the devil has become the god you worship and the God has become the devil you hate. You demonize. So you will suffer a lot. <laughs> you will suffer a lot. I love this type of teachings because it's like remembering yourself <laughs> what you know already. That's why I love this type of teachings. Yeah. I don't want to do it so long, so I don't want to stretch it so long. My main point here is just that. Marine spirit is not evil. 
Don't let anybody make you be scared of what you have. Don't let whether Babalao pastor, whoever the person is, don't let them make you be scared. Accept who you are and bring out the best from that which you are. Because you are not an ordinary human being. You are not an ordinary human being. A queen cannot become a slave. A king cannot come and be picking food in the ground to eat. You wonder why you are not happy? You are not happy because you are trying to fit in into a box that you're bigger than. Of course you cannot be happy. <laughs> you cannot be happy. You have to free yourself. Explore your dark side. The one they are telling you to be scared of. Explore it. <laughs> Explore it. I will drop the teaching here. I feel like going on and on and on and on because these are the type of teaching that turns me on. But I just have to drop it here. <laughs> I'll drop it here and do my prayers a little before I go. Accept who you are and know that you cannot be anything apart from what you already are. Whatever you try to be apart from what you are will give you soul inflammation. And life will look so zigzag in your eyes. <laughs> bye bye for now. Uh, uh, for those of you reporting my page, if you don't like my teaching, simple. I don't need crowd. For me, this soul food is just for special people. To be honest, I don't really need crowd. So if you don't just like it, no problem. Just unfollow the page. Instead of you now reporting it. Every day I just report it on my Facebook up my account now is blocked and yeah always so that's not fair you keep on doing that the water you drink will excuse your intestine if you love yourself stop it we are nice don't mean we don't know how to do bad or so. <laughs> what is what you have to do <laughs> okay he said please throw more lights on it mm, that will be another day we have to go now. I don't want it to be too long. Bye bye for now. I send you a peace and love. Share it. You might not know a friend in your Facebook list that is struggling with all these things. You have gone to many places and the same thing. Share it. Share it. If you need help and guidance, we are here. Even if it's not a good number, there are people who really know these things out there also. They can guide you instead of you fighting you, accept you. That's the only option you have. Just accept you. I was once scared of the things I always see. But now I know that everything I always see was created by me. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I just have to go. <laughs>